Hi again, my name is Chris Cravens. Welcome to Cross Current TV. On a little bit more somber note, we're going to talk about one of the biggest uh, challenges and dangers uh, that Alaska is facing currently right now, and uh, perhaps one of the biggest dangers that Alaska has ever faced in the history of its natural resource development. Uh, about 200 uh, miles southwest of Anchorage here lies a region called Bristol Bay, otherwise known as Iliamna, home to some of the biggest and largest trout in the world, um, and also is uh, certainly known as one of the last and maybe the only sustainable salmon runs left in the world. About 91% of the wild salmon that we eat all comes from Alaska. And 51% of that comes from Bristol Bay. And at the very head of this great region lies two big river systems. One on one side is the Quijack River and the Quijack River drainage, which uh, fills and drains Iliamna. And then on the other side is the Nushigak River. The Quijack has the largest sockeye run in the world. And uh, also in relation to that, the Nushigak River has uh, the largest king salmon run in the world. And just north of Lake Iliamna um, lies two tributaries called the Cocktooley River and the Telerik River. Northern Dynasty, also known as the Pebble Organization, uh, is proposed to put in the largest gold mine in the world and the sixth largest copper mine in the world right in the middle of these two river systems. The open pit mine is projected to be three miles long, a mile and a half wide, and one half mile deep. After the mines built to hold the toxic tailings of these mines, three dams, the largest of their kind ever to be built, are going to be following downstream. To build these dams, Northern Dynasty, or the Pebble Partnership, has applied for the water rights of two of the most fragile fisheries in um, Bristol Bay. One, the Cocktooley River, which feeds the Nushigak, and the other one, the Telerik Creek, that flows into Iliamna. Both of these tributaries, the Cocktooley and the Upper Telerik, were initially promised by the Northern Dynasty to never ever be touched. Empty promises and lies. Now the company has applied for the water rights to both of these rivers. What this means is that these rivers that are fished every day by sport fishermen and hold some of the largest rainbow trout in the world, they'll use both of those flowing waters to fill these three dams and those rivers will be gone forever. 9.1 billion tons of toxic waste will be held in these dams. In Alaska's, one of Alaska's most seismically active areas. Um, often they'll have six to seven, um, five Richter scale earthquakes a year, and at least one seven Richter scale earthquake a year. The mining activities are projected by Northern Dynasty to last about 50 years, and then they're gonna leave. But what they're not gonna leave with is the toxic tailings that will be left forever in Bristol Bay. Every single copper and gold mine that's ever been built in the world has resulted in a massive environmental disaster. Every single one without fail. And none of them have ever been built in an area as fragile and as sustainable and as rich in fish and wildlife as Bristol Bay or the Iliamna area. If you've ever driven through Butte, Montana, you know the ramifications of open pit mines and the lies and the empty promises that these companies make when they're actually trying to rehab the area. One of the more concerning issues for all of us that are kind of keeping track with this uh, subject is the fact that the state of Alaska has never, not once, ever denied any similar permit for a mining operation. This mine and the activities involved in it invariably is going to put a $300 million wild commercial fishery at stake every year. And uh, there's nothing right now that says that this mine will not go in regardless of of if the locals want it, or if the locals need it, or if the state of Alaska wants it. We've never denied a permit. There's three takeaways at the end of the segment here that I want all of you guys to go home with, um, and things you can do. Number one, write Governor Sean Parnell and let him know how you feel about it. The second one is, it's your guys' job to pass all this information on. There's a lot of information out there, a lot of good websites that are based on fact, and uh, facts are really what's gonna win this war. And um, if you could spread those around, that makes a world of difference. The last is the focus on uh, safety and numbers. This is the first time in my life that I can remember in Alaska that commercial fishing, subsistence fishing, and sport fishing, and all the people involved in those fisheries are on the same page. It's pretty amazing. We need to stick with that, and we need to make sure that we recruit a lot more people for this cause. All right, guys, so stay informed. Now you're familiar with this symbol. Spread the word, and we'll see you next time on Cross Current TV. Cross Current TV. We want to hear from you. We'll take your questions and ideas posted to our Facebook or YouTube pages and use them for future episodes. 
and click here to check out the trailer for our first fly fishing adventure movie, Cast Alaska, available now on DVD. 9.1 billion tons of toxic waste will be held in these dams. Is that true? Oh, dude, it's mind-blowing. It gets me riled up, dude, just thinking about it, man. <laughs>